Thank you for being with us today. We really appreciate so much your presence here in Amsterdam. Um, we have some questions for you. Uh, we we'll start with the first, the first one, quite a simple one. Why did you decide to participate in Tibet Art Now? I, I think basically, I mean, it's a very exciting project. Uh, what you do it. As a as an artist, as a Tibetan artist, I like to I like to support what we do. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. And could you tell us something about the work that you draw, that you are exhibiting? I yes, the work I actually I'm, I'm not very good at uh, explaining my work. I yeah, I just put uh, two screen prints. Uh, and it's a limited edition from my original work. And uh, then they, um, yeah, I, I think, yes, uh, then they are made out of stickers and paper. Um, so that's it. Okay. And May I ask you, who are you creating your work for? Who? Uh, I, that's a good question, but I, I think my straight answer would be say, if I'm creating really first for myself. And, uh, and then of course, at the same time, I like uh, so more people can see it. Okay. And what is the relevance of Tibetan contemporary art to the reality that Tibetans face today, according to you? Mm. It's a... Uh, I mean... Uh, as I said on the... Sort of try to uh, try to make make more relevant to to the Tibetan issues. But, uh, also, as I said before, uh, the Tibetan issues not the only issue I'm concerning. I think there is a lot of uh, issue around the world. I think uh, maybe not directly linked with the Tibetans, but but it's all causing by. Uh, by, by human beings, and uh, so so I think that sense, yes, uh, people probably need to so. And uh, according to you, how does art made inside Tibet differ from the art created outside? Mm. I think the 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 art created in inside Tibet because the situation. Contemporary art, of course. Yes, yes contemporary art. I think the, the artists, uh, actually the works are very interesting. I think they are much more so, uh, challenging in a sense. I think artists have to uh, express themselves, but also not, uh, not to get, it, get themselves into the trouble. And so somehow I think they develop kind of style which is uh, much more ironic and uh, also, also very playful as well. And, uh, uh, and of course with fantastic techniques. And uh, you no, know, I think they are they are quite interesting. Then of course the the work in outside. Uh, uh, it's, uh, uh, I think, I mean, I, I've seen some of the work here and also I've seen some of the work from artists living in Dhanamsala. Uh, my impression is, uh, I mean, the tragedy is a lot of the artists, uh, they never seen Tibet before. And uh, they were born in exile 
And uh, so I think the common theme with the artist's work in exile is uh, there is a there is a sort of desire of uh, of uh, uh, try to. Uh, I think yes, there is a there is a sort of there is a sort of I guess it's quite a painful desire of homeland. So quite often you can see lots of beautiful Tibetan uh, <laughs> you can see lots of sort of beautiful landscapes and uh, uh, Tibetan architecture and also poetry poetry of uh, Tibetan people, which is, uh, you don't see that kind of thing in, in Exa. Uh, so that, I think, seems much more common in our side. So it's a mix of longing and melancholy or something? I think so, especially longing, I think. Uh, I mean, because I think it's a kind of psychological thing, you know. country from, from your parents or, or, or you know the place through book rather than you really experience and uh, then I think that's sort of, that's my impression. Yes. Thank you. Well, one last question. Mm -hmm. Considering the name of the, the title of this exhibition, Tibet are now on the threshold of a new future, do you consider yourself an optimist in general? Uh, about uh, Tibetan contemporary art? I think so, yes. Yeah. I mean, um, so far, I think the Tibetan contemporary art, I mean, if you ask me the same question five years ago, it's a uh, still very sort of regional movement. I mean, it started uh, really from last with group group of artists, uh, even from, from the 80s. And, uh, but now, I think it's become a, it's not any more regional, it's become much more international. I mean, there is artists, artists in, uh, yes, in Amsterdam, in Europe, in America, also, also inside Tibet and India. So it's a, I think it's a, yeah, it's become a, it's a positive development anyway. I think so, yes, it is very positive development. And, uh, but the one thing I, uh, I, I think we as an organization and also as an artist, uh, you need encouragement and also you need an environment. But at the same time, I think I will say it would be nice to sort of let it uh, grow itself. And uh, you know, sometimes, I think the, the one thing with the art is you can't really force to, to, to go this way or not that it's way. It's free by excellence. I mean, it yes. Is kind of so it's, I think it's, a, it's probably it's more sort of natural process plus support and good environment. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.